a voter will come into the polling place just as they have at any other election. Uh, they will approach the table, uh, the, the election district table where they belong. They will come and announce their name to the vote, uh, to the inspectors as they always have in the past. The inspectors will find their name in the poll book. The voter will sign their name in the poll book as they have in the past. Um, the inspectors will take charge of the poll book after that. The voter will be sent down to the opposite end of the table where one of the inspectors, uh, this is our, this is a sample of a pad of ballots that will be at the table. One of the inspectors will remove the ballot from the pad. Um, Voters will notice that there are the stubs on the pad are numbered in consecutive order. There is no ballot number on the there is no stub number on the ballot, so we want to make that perfectly clear. There's no way to identify the voter to the ballot. The stub number will be recorded in the poll book. The voter will be given the ballot inside the privacy sleeve. The voter will take the ballot with the privacy sleeve to the booth where there will be a pen that will be tethered to the booth. The voter is then, um, the voter will then be filling out his or her ballot in the booth by filling in the ovals for the candidate for which they wish to vote. The ovals are to the right of the candidate's name up above and to the right of the candidate's name. Uh, in some towns there may be propositions on the back of the ballot so the voter has to be made uh, aware of that which the inspectors will do. There will be instructions in the booth showing the voter how to fill out their ballot and how to do a write-in. And there would also be instructions letting the voter know if they wanted to review their ballot before it goes in the machine to let the machine operator know. The voter would then take his or her ballot, place it back in the privacy sleeve if they so desire, and wait online to get to the scanner. Once the scanner is free, the voter would bring their ballot up to the scanner in the privacy sleeve. You'll note that here on the left hand side there is a slot on the privacy sleeve where you can feed your ballot through the scanner. You hold the privacy sleeve up against the scanner and feed your ballot into the, scan into the scanner. Once the voter receives the message casting ballot and then there will be a message that says that the ballot has been cast successfully. The voter can return the privacy sleeve to the people near the machine and leave the polling place. And it's just that simple.